In this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things noobs do in zombies, and this is part two, meaning there's another banger out there somewhere on the internet, aka I'm talking about part one, and it will be linked down in the description below, check it out after this one, uh, but in this video, we have 10 more things, and who knows, we may even have a part three coming next Saturday for this mini-series that I got going on the channel, obviously I have a lot of other cool mini-series going, like 10 things good players do, smart players do, 10 things to do do with randoms, worst to best, and there will be plenty more, like, don't don't worry, there will be plenty more, and definitely comment down below with something you see noobs doing to be featured in the next episode, and if you do any of these things that I will mention in this video, don't be shy, alright, don't, don't be shy, drop its number in the comments, because, uh, guess what, the first thing that I got on this list is basically me doing a noobiest move ever, it's like 10 out of 10 IGN, you guys will witness that in 2 seconds, and real quick, these are some of the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and there are some more that I will feature throughout this video because you guys have been killing it and that's the least I can effing do so if you want to be featured hey make sure to subscribe with notifications and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number 10 now I'm gonna take you back when Zombies Chronicles was first released now in my second or third game of Origins Remaster I popped that gobble gum I was just like on the moon I was just like this is gonna be the best game you know what I'm saying right I'm gonna do the strike it's gonna be crazy I will put up on the internet it's gonna be but guess what I didn't start the generator number two and I pop emulation liquidation and in my head I was just like hey what if I pop emulation liquidation maybe it's gonna work that way because fire cell if you get it right so guess what I did it it did not work that proves that there's always a noob in all of us and this series is designed to get you guys to laugh and shit and of course if you are a up-and-coming zombies player well this series can definitely help you get better at zombies and for sure it can prevent you from doing all these newbie moves and shit like that but coming in at number nine now this one is going to be when Papa Panzer grab you you're like this is it I'm done I'm ready to die and shit but the thing is noobs forget all the time that hey you can knife the Papa Panzer and he will let you go and you can get back to running and everything like that but uh of course when the Papa Panzer grab you you go blank you don't know what the heck is going on but here's the solution now I know there are some smart noobs out there what they will do is as soon as the Papa Panzer grab them they will be like holy shit he grabbing me I'm gonna pop my KRM or whatever gun they got even the Mauser work on that so what they do is that they will start shooting that arm of that Panzer and I gotta say I'm very proud but as soon as they actually get closer to the Panzer and they miss their shots well they're like I'm done there's no way I'll be able to live but guess what you can look down and you can knife the Panzer hand and he will let you go but coming in at number eight now this is the best perk in the eyes of noobs now this is something that I got over on Facebook and the, the whole discussion is just so long I won't put that on the screen I uploaded a video over on my Facebook just for the lols and shit like that and here's what I got of course I censored and everything like that of course his name is Benjamin I, I will just like uh, make sure that everything is like blurred or censored or whatnot but guess what he says suck your mom Deadshot is awesome best perk for XP and first of all I'm just like the F nibba you for real but good memes dude I'm just like maybe this guy's joking around and shit but he was not joking and the, the whole conversation is so long like if you want to read the whole conversation just let me know in the comments or just go over on my Facebook page the skizzle act same shit now the thing is dead shot is that perk of course if you're going for headshots then it can be something that you may want to get but at the same time it's like if you want to go for headshots you could do the catwalk strategy on the giant it's so fast you got the dingo you got the mother truck in dredge or whatever or maybe even the dracon and shit like that and maybe can 44 that's a wall gun that's like a good meme if you get what I'm saying it's like you can do that it's very easy it's very efficient because we have perks like juggernaut quick revive speed cola double tap stamina vittles wine electric cherry and also mule kick to some extent that's like way better than deadshot right obviously deadshot is good for what it does but at the same time it's like if you buy that you're wasting and I barely get any comments where people say that shot is good and 
it's the best park ever but obviously people that say that it's like they are pure noob and shit and it's all good if you're new on zombies hey you definitely got a lot of room to improve and even me like I suck ass at zombies too so it's like I'm not saying I'm the best or anything like that I suck ass but coming in at number seven now nothing effing triggers me more than this now I don't know if you have noticed this but I've been getting so many comments, alright, so many comments for, for years now, now I'm just like exaggerating. I've been getting so many comments where people be like, okay, so you bought Quick Revive when you're playing solo, what purpose does that serve? And I'm just looking at them, I'm just like, what? And of course, they be looking at me and saying like, what as well, and I'm just like, god damn. So first of all, Quick Revive has two purposes, and I really wanna get done with Quick Revive like in this video, like I don't wanna touch this topic ever again, like period but I want to get done with this so quick revive has two purposes of course if you're playing with more than one guy basically if you're playing co-op and you buy quick revive then you'll be able to revive your teammates a little bit faster which can surely help if your teammates are going down and everything like that but if you're playing solo quick revive can actually revive you now here's the thing if you got four perks or hey let's say you got five perks or six perks because you use unquenchable gobblegum or you have used uh, on the house gobblegum or let's say you have got plain as perkaholic so you got all the perks and obviously with that you'll get quick revive now here's the catch if you go down you will lose all your perks but the fact that you got quick revive it will revive you even if you're playing solo meaning you will have a second chance and in that second chance you can buy all the perks over again and of course you can buy quick revive again and if you go down three times while having quick revive then you won't be able to buy quick revive but the thing is if you have quick revive you will last longer and trust me lasting long matter folks now coming in at number six we're talking about this thing called f everything as soon as i got the lmg i don't know you you don't know me there are zombies in front of me i don't give a damn they get super excited right for example they get the dingo and i can say this for sure and i'm pretty sure all of you that are watching this video would agree that dingo is one of the best guns but the thing with the dingo is that uh, it's a lmg and lmgs in black ops 3 that's a no no let me explain so as soon as these noobs would get the LMG for example like I said the dingo they will continuously shoot that shit like there's no tomorrow and guess what if you're on round 30 dingo is going to take a little bit to kill zombies but at the same time the dingo is like super powerful so it's gonna wipe out the whole train of zombies especially if you got dead wire but that's not really what I'm talking about so what these noobs would do plain as ADS continuously shoot and they will wipe out the whole horde of zombies but guess what zombies will spawn back in and more often than not they will be right back behind them and guess what they won't even have a chance to survive and they will go down now the solution for this is very simple don't ads unless you got stock attachment and even then just try to not ads with lmgs it's just gonna get you down very easily and on top of that don't be shooting your lmgs continuously that's not a good meme but coming in at number five we're talking about pentagon thief aka my boy yuri and uh, he was in the map called five which is in black ops one and my boy wasn't remastered in zombies chronicles so press f to pay respects right now in the comments he was the boss in the map of five and what he does is basically he comes around every now and then and he freaking steal your guns my guns your guns over beloved guns basically he steal that shit and then we're on a pursuit to kill him to get our weapon back but the thing is he's gonna spawn in very early as soon as you turn on the power and what these noobs do is that they will get like any gun off of the wall and they will try to kill that pentagon too but guess what you're not gonna be able to kill him and he will freaking take your gun away an easy solution to this is that simply don't even care right as soon as he comes around just pull out your gun that doesn't have any ammo or pull out a crappy gun let him take that and uh, later on when you got jug and when you got that ray gun or whenever you got something good that's when you try to kill his ass and another thing is that as soon as he takes your gun away just come to this area and the max ammo will always spawn in and problem solved now coming in at number four we got this thing called f everything i don't care i'm gonna go through these traps boy and no one freaking stopping me and this is something that i've been seeing quite a lot like i've seen that rise in the community where people all they want to do is they want to just go through those traps now here's the thing people that go through these traps they they have an urgency right and on top of that they have juggernaut that's why they don't go down but guess what these noobs do they want to look cool and shit they want to be like yeah i went through the trap 
laps can you do this cuz I can do it man uh, one pull I'm done with this you know what I'm saying that's what they do that's what their mentality is basically they want to go through these traps not only that they want to go through these traps more than once and guess what they want to do it without having jug and guess what if you do that you will instantly go down by juggernaut and then you can go through these traps like everyone else that actually does nowadays and I'm just but coming in at number three we have this thing called I'm never gonna F around with building those buildables not even the shield because that's my enemy and I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at them yes even me while I'm commentating yes I'm looking at them and I'm saying like what and all those players that will like put their blood and sweat uh, into building those buildables like for example uh, getting all those parts and building that shield and everything like that and they will be like stressing big time hey Bob come here get that shield it will protect you and Bob will be like no I'm not gonna get that shield and I'm just looking at him and I'm just saying like what guys get your shields if you're a new to zombie shield is a good meme basically what it does is that you get that thing it will sit on your back it will protect your ass from zombies because zombies sometimes what they do is that it will hit you it's not a good meme but when you have a shield on your back it will protect you and as long as you got that shield you're not gonna get hit from the back and basically once your shield is wrecked you can go back and pick your shield back again it's a good meme don't worry get your shields it's really good all right but now coming in at number two now this is something that I've been seeing in the zombies community quite a lot uh, which is like teaching your girlfriend how to play zombies or basically teaching a new player how to play zombies now first of all what you do is that you'll be like okay what map you want to play okay this map seems easy they will go in revelation and they will be having all those emotions obviously like the apothecary can just say that pack a punch and shit like that and you'll be like okay go press triangle go press square buy this buy that uh, they like you're gonna try to teach them buttons right like how to play zombies and guess what they will forget every single time and that's a beautiful quality of a newbie players but coming in at number one now we're gonna finish this with a bow now there are some players all right there are some players that think they are better than everyone else yes that guy says that he is better than you yes you listening out there he's saying that he is better than you now simply get triggered now because it is time uh, go in the comments just get angry J just do what you gotta do uh, don't let these noobs say they are better than you anyways guys check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them let me know that one thing that you see noobs doing to be featured in my next video subscribe if you happen to be new and uh, if you did enjoy this video hey smash the like button and I'll see you very freaking soon